Trump thumps rival chumps. It's true. Trump is in the lead as Joe's campaign starts to bleed. The Washington Post slash ABC News poll shows 49% would definitely or probably vote for Trump in 2024 compared to 42% for Joe Biden. That's a difference of seven percentage points, Kat. <laughs> It's scary. Among Trump's newest supporters are First Lady Jill and Son Hunter. <laughs> Trump trounces his GOP competition, too, and sadly, even before any of them got their nicknames. Among Republicans, 43% want him to get the nomination, compared to 20% for Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and everyone else is lower than the demand for Bud Light. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm whistling in the graveyard. Meantime, Biden's not even popular within his own party. In fact, he's so unpopular, his new Secret Service code is Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly 60% of Dems want another candidate to win the nomination, citing major concerns with his age and mental acuity. But where were they in 2020? Would you expect it's going to get better? Here he was today. As we approach Memorial Day this weekend, uh, and Memorial Day weekend, I'm rushing it. Well, at least he didn't say Christmas. <laughs> if he did, he would have stopped to buy an Easter basket. But if these numbers hold, Hunter will need a toilet paper shortage to sell art. But I wonder, is this just brutal for President Biden? This poll is just brutal for President Biden. Absolutely, George. You know, Biden's in trouble when George Stephanopoulos has to be honest. <laughs> what say you, Joe? Uh, so, uh, so people don't like me very much, big deal. It didn't hurt me last time. I went in the basement, I came out, I was president. We'll probably do the same thing again. And, you, you know, I've been around. I know how this thing works. I grew up on a two-story farm, and <laughs> we had an old expression. People in glass houses shouldn't teach a dog new tricks. And that's a true story. It's no joke. Yeah. So, Triple J, what is this poll meant to tell everybody? That they got to dump Kamala, or is, or, or is Joe got to step aside? What's going on here? I have a whole conspiracy theory, and I hope you're ready for it. I, I, am. I think the Democrats know what they're doing. I think they're trying to bait Republicans into, into, into infighting and eventually Trump being the nominee. And Biden's there to keep any other legitimate contender out who those in charge don't want. And they're going to pull him when the time is right to put their person there That's interesting. before anyone else can. In other words, they're doing everything they can to keep their primary from being a Democratic election, but it won't be Biden. Interesting. Wow. Loftus, what are the guys in the shelter telling you about the race? <laughs> <laughs> who do they want to run? <laughs> 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 well, me and the gang at the dumpster, when, when we're talking about politics, we have a theory, too. Like, yeah, Joe's just a tool. Like, he's not really running anything. Yeah. Right? And then the Democrats can go, oh, Joe Biden and his crazy ideas, they're not polling so well, and they'll just replace him with another useful idiot. Uh, I just love that polls are still a thing, right? <laughs> Don't you remember, like, in 2016 when everybody's like, oh, these polls were way off. I'll never do... And it turns out four out of five of those people were liars because mm -hmm. uh, here we are again. And it's just... It's nice to see reality uh, injected back into America with Trump doing so well because it's not like he wasn't running the show for four years and just crushing on every level. I wonder so it's it's it wasn't like too long ago we could go, wow, we can have cheap gas again, world peace, peace in the Middle East, no uh, nuclear war threat. <laughs> I'll take that again. And that sounds Twitter good. Twitter would be fun, yeah. right? <laughs> you know, and it is true. I mean, he he the only reason why Biden won was Biden hadn't yet ruined the country, right? Now he's done it. <laughs> And he and also COVID. So those were the things that uh, it, I mean, it was it was it wasn't it was a, a narrow margin of voters, but there were two major variables there. And then, of course, and, they changed the election. And he was going to calm things down. It, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boy, did he? He was a it, he really calmed my ass. It, it was a <laughs> very narrow margin of voters. And if, you know, Ravensburger had just found them there yeah. in Georgia. Like, I don't I don't know. Like, I don't know why I couldn't just find them. Like, they're there. I promise. By the way, find assumes that they're there. You can't find something that doesn't exist. That's exactly. so that will go away. Kat, um, does it bother you that 
It still comes down to two choices. And what's even worse, it's the same two choices <laughs> for four years. So we have two choices for eight years. <laughs> I'm exhausted just thinking about it. <laughs> like, it seems so far away, and obviously anything could happen. And all I know for sure is that whoever loses, all of those people will blame it on me for voting third party. Yes. Um, ah, but I, I just don't understand. Like you point out, this was supposed to be the return to normalcy. None of this is normal. Like <laughs> none of it. The president is supposed to be able to. Like he, it's not even that he can just can't really lead. It's that. He can't really be expected to follow somebody away from a podium. Yeah. I mean, like he, he, there's 63 or some percent don't don't think he has the mental fitness to be president. <laughs> yeah. Who are the rest of the people? <laughs> yes. Like I, I, I want, I want to talk to these people because what other people are they speaking to? Yeah. They're like, oh, that's normal. That's how you. That's a normal way to talk. Who are those people? Those are the people that Joe says he's smarter than, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I know more than anybody. He said that, and, but then of course he says Hunter's really smart. All right, you're like you're like our Washington insider expert, and your hair's not bad either. Well, I got a haircut. Yeah, I don't like it when you get a haircut. Yeah, I don't either. I want to run but, my fingers through but, your wild mane. But if I don't get a haircut, it gets kind of yeah, out of control. Charlie, looking like a goat. Are we over analyzing this poll? Well, uh, yeah, well, a little bit. I mean, I mean, polls are kind of meaningless. But I think the fact that that you've got ABC and Washington Post allowing something like this, yeah, they didn't to go. Yeah, that, that it tells you that it tells you something right there. Um, and I think it's probably an accurate reflection of the electorate. Um, I, and, I, and it reminds me why I love American voters. They're like the obnoxious cool guys in the back of the class mm -hmm. who are like not paying attention ever. Yeah. The, the media has spent years and <laughs> billions of dollars explaining that, th that Donald Trump is unfit for political office. Yeah. And then they do a poll and they're like, yeah, Trump. Yeah, Let's exactly. Go with that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's like we just produce. A January 6th mini series with an ABC producer. <laughs> and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was a bad day. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're, we're Trump. Trump? Yeah, we're Trump. Maybe Trump. Yeah. But, uh, what if, I wonder what, if we, what, I wonder what the Trump? percentage of Americans is who believe that we could convince Joe Biden he was at Prince Charles Coronation. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, I bet we could. We could go, hey, Joe, how was it? <laughs> oh, you were there. You had ice cream. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.